Have you ever been playing a game and thought to yourself, I wish I could just tweak the contrast on this game. I wish I could improve the saturation. I wish I could fiddle with the sharpness. Well, now you can, because SweetFX is a graphics shader tool made by CJ that allows you to do just that. And in this tutorial series, I'm going to be taking you through how to install it, how to get it working, and how to use all of the advanced features in it so you can customize your PC games just as you'd like. And in this first episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install it and how to make configurating this tool as simple as possible. So let's get learning. So what is SweetFX? Well, SweetFX is a shader suite made by a guy called CJ, um, and he has been nice enough to release this for completely free, um, but it is a PC-only tool, so uh, Xbox users and PS3 users, I'm sorry, this is not for you. And basically what it allows you to do is customise the look of your games. Now, uh, let me just show you an example of what I mean here. Uh, this is a, a screenshot from Left 4 Dead in a photo editing program. Now, when you um, f uh, you edit your, your photos in um, Photoshop or Paint.net or whatever it is, you, you quite often find yourself going to this kind of adjustments tab and adjusting things like the, like, uh, adjusting things like, like the contrast, making the, the, the lights brighter and the, the, the darks darker, or the other way around to kind of e even things out across the picture. Or you might find yourself going to to um, your hue and saturation uh, part and really kind of bringing up the colors or perhaps maybe fading them down. Uh, same with the uh, maybe the hue, kind of shifting the colors across one way or the other, maybe to extremes or maybe just a tiny little bit. Same with things like lightness. Did you want the screen slightly brighter, slightly darker, a lot darker, a lot brighter, ouch, um, or anything like that. Now, basically, SweetFX does the same thing. SweetFX is not a texture replacer. Like, it's not going to turn this uh, wall here on the right um, into, a, a, into a brick wall, for example. But what it is going to do is adjust the graphics you have got um, in terms of the contrast perhaps, in terms of the the colour curves, oops that's the luminosity ones, um, in terms of the in terms of the colour curves if if you if that's what you want. Um, in terms of the sharpness um, you can pull it up and down in, in sweet effects to make the details come out or perhaps to make the details fade away if you wish to blur um, and, and loads of things like that so think of it as a, 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 a tool which is going to allow you to enhance and customize the image but remember of course different people will customize their images in different ways like some people will look at the image in front of you here and think let's bring up the color some people will think let's enhance the shadows other people will think those shadows are too dark let's make the shadows um, more subtle so we can see into them. So it is not just a case that um, SweetFX just makes your games look better straight away. It actually just allows you to decide how you actually want each game to look, and that will be different from person to person. But luckily, there are loads of um, uh, custom uh, presets available for games um, on the forums, which you can grab. But of course, they won't necessarily be presets that you agree with. But you can change that. And if you have a look down the um, the Sweet Effects um, download page, which you can find on Guru 3D, it sh it's got some awesome images here, showing you showing you comparisons between Sweet Effects on and Sweet Effects off, and some beautiful screenshots um, that have been made with uh, with this tool. And if you come to the Sweet Effects um, Guru 3D forum page. There are now, uh, I think it's 47 pages um, on the 11th of the 11th. Uh, 47 pages of um, awesome screenshots, awesome discussions, um, hints and tips from people. So if you want to see what this tool can really do, um, go and check out what some people have managed to do with it. So how do we install um, SweetFX? Uh, well, the first thing you need to do is grab the files. Um, if you're on the, the forum page, uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the Guru3D page, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, just um, below the, this screenshot here, and you can see download locations. There's one and two there. I'm going to click the Europe one. And you can wait five seconds, and then the, the, the save uh, dialog will begin. And I'm just going to open it up rather than saving it for the sake of speediness. speediness. Now these are the files that you will need. Um, there are some alternative download links if you go into the forum page. It's here on uh, 
Guru 3D's mirrors, Drop Canvas and Skyrim Nexus. There's lots of places to get it. But these are the files you will need. Now, it is not a program which you're going to install and then run. Um, it's actually an injector which you need to associate with every game. So suppose I wanted to install SweetFX on um, a particular game. I then need to find that game's folder and most importantly the execution executable file. Um, so I'm going to go into my Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, and here's a list of all the games I've got installed. Now supposing I wanted to put it into Dead Island, I find the Dead Island executable, it's here, so this is the folder I want, and I would then simply select everything here and pull it across into the folder like this. Um, it will then go in and that's it. That's SweetFX installed. The most important fo uh, file in here though is SweetFX settings and if I open that one up here this is the file that allows me to um, turn on or off all the different features and customize all those different features as well. Now if I wanted to uninstall um, SweetFX um, I then need to kind of pick my way through this folder and remove all of these files and folders that are now in here which is obviously a little bit tricky. Um, but there is an easier way because although CJ has made the uh, the 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 injector itself, the sh the, the graphics shader. Um, he has had help from a little genius called Teresk or Terask. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Who has come up with the Sweet Effects configurator, which allow gives us a far easier way of installing, updating, and customizing um, Sweet Effects. So. Um, so CJ is the maker of the program and Teresk is the maker of the configurator. Now if you come to his website which is sweetfx.thelazy.net you, you, you see the latest version here and as of 11th of 11th it's 1.3.2 and you pick a pick a, uh, a download. Now I'm going for the, the standalone version and again I'm just going to open it up for the sake of speed and then I'm going to show my desktop. There it is and I'm just going to pull the SweetFX configurator folder onto my desktop so I can get it running. Let's get rid of WinZip, go into the folder and in here we have an executable uh, which is going to allow us to install and customize um, SweetFX on our, on our computer. So double click it and um, this uh, graphics interface will come up. Now what we need to do now is add the games that we wish to use it for within the configurator and what this will allow us to do is add it, add SweetFX and remove it just at the click of a button. So let me show you, give you an example. Again, you need to find the executable that you are interested in for the game, and I'm going to go for Batman um, Arkham City. So I'm going to go into Batman 2, which is the Arkham City file. Now, you would expect, possibly, the executable to be in the root Batman directory, but often games will put the executable actually in a folder known as binaries, or maybe even within that, um, a folder called Windows. Now you can see there's a SweetFX folder here, because I've, I've actually done this once already, but that wouldn't normally be there. What you're interested in is this executable here, um, Batman Arkham City. You click Open, and you can see that Batman has now appeared here on the left, and it says Batman Arkham City not active. Now that is because um, I have not yet installed SweetFX um, into this folder. If to do that, you need to click on Batman, and it says on the here displaying settings displayed for Batman Arkham City, and there's some bu buttons over here that says Add SweetFX, and it is as simple as this. Look, that is SweetFX installed. That is SweetFX removed. That is SweetFX installed. That is SweetFX in uninstalled. Um, so it's that that makes the process um, a lot. Um, simpler. Now there are some games that are a little bit trickier to install um, we, and I'll cover those a little bit later on but let's just look for now at how we are actually going to um, get SweetFX running in the game. Now when you bring up, when you um, add SweetFX all the settings rather than being in a text file will now appear here in the graphics interface and the ones with the ticks by them are the ones that are by default turned on but you can turn any of these 
off by unchecking it and on by turning it on again and uh, most of the, these are, are compatible with each other although some would cancel each other out but you can have as many on as you like and there's very little um, fra frame rate degradation by using this there is some especially on the ones that actually say in brackets relatively high performance cost but most of them um, you're, you're talking about maybe five frames a second if, if that um, and less if you've got a far powerful if you've got a, very, a pretty powerful um, machine um, but before we go into the game itself, one thing I do want you to have a quick look at is this uh, button here that says Sweet Effects Injector Settings. And I'm just going to click that there and then bring this to the center because when you're in game, there's a couple of buttons that you're going you're gonna to need to be using. One of which is Toggle Sweet Effects On or Off. Now that is going to be really useful for you to see what effect Sweet Effects is actually happening. Having The second one is Save Screenshot, which is going to be awesome for you to show all your friends what you've been doing. And the last button is Reload Settings because when you get into the game, you are going to be wanting to uh, update your configuration file and then reload, update the configuration file and then reload over and over without having to come all the way back out of the game. And these buttons will allow you to do that. Now by default this is set to scroll lock and uh, the pause key. Now some games that's absolutely fine, some games that will conflict with some of the existing controls and some keyboards if you have a look down at what's in front of you don't actually have these buttons. So if before you go into the game I suggest you go into here just make sure you've got these keys and if necessary you need like num lock on or num lock off if you're using a, a keypad like I am or you can customize them and the easy way to do that is say I want toggle effects on or off to be the key um, T um, for toggle, I'll just press T and it will automatically change to the number code for that um, key and on the right it will show you which one it is, which is now the T. And the same for the pause, so if I wanted that to be, uh, I don't know, the uh, F, F5 for example, I can just click F5 and it will come up. Um, but for me, I'm just because I'm going into Batman, I'm going to use the, the, um, the home key. Uh, for toggle effects on and off and I'm going to use page up for reload settings and the reason I'm going to use those is because um, Batman already uses the pause key and the scroll lock key but otherwise I would have left them at their default. Click save and then we are ready to go in game. So now you've got SweetFX installed and ready to go and ready to be configured. In part two of this video series we're going to be looking at your first tweak, going into game and showing you live how you can make adjustments to how your game looks. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss part two and subsequent um, episodes in this series and please give a like to encourage this series to keep going. Thank you very very much to watching for watching and thank you very much again to CJ and Teresk for making this awesome game configurating customizing tool. And I'll see you soon. Take care.